Good morning, everyone. Welcome to The Gift. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as Jeff shared, hi, everyone. <laughs> I love watching a wave. Um, yeah, we've got a, a really marvelous show for you this morning, actually. We've just launched our brand new Spiri app. And you're hearing Spiri a lot these days um, because Spiri is just exploding in our ministry and, you know, just really across all the borders. So today I wanted to be with you in that. And I've got a special guest with me today, Laverne, who I'll share about in just a moment. And um, I thought we could take a tour today through the new app and also just take a behind the scenes look at Spiri, your spiritual assistant. So here I am with Laverne. Welcome, Laverne. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Huh. Well, yeah, just... Um, I want to say a week or maybe a week and a half ago, we launched our new Spiri app. It's It's been in the works for some time now, and it just got published on um, the Apple App Store. And you and I have been joining quite a lot about Spiri over the last, I don't know, number of months. And so I'm just really excited to have you here. Thank you. Because there's much more to Spiri than meets the eye. There's so much that's happened behind the scenes and so much that we're really wanting to share about. So, so as I said, I'd love to take you guys today on a tour through the app. But first, I really wanted to get us in touch with the why of Spiri. That, beyond anything else, feels like the what is going to really... Um, really light you up about it. Like we can take you on a tour through the app so that you can see it all. And until you know the why, the why you would, you, why you would want to use it, why you'd want to pick it up, it's just an app. So Laverne, I would really love to hear from you. What is Spiri to you? Oh. Well, I have to like reel it back quite a bit in terms of uh, my own spiritual journey because uh, yeah, I, even though I, I grew up, you know, um, in a tribe on an Indian reservation where you would think there would be a lot of spirituality really with my with my mother's generation it was like you know you don't really it, it wasn't encouraged and so a lot of the spiritual spirituality of my tribe went underground and my mother was like more or less just like go out get an education get a good job leave the reservation you know there's nothing good here it's you know it's just no jobs a lot of poverty alcoholism and so I just kind of just trusted that and I reached a point in sort of my journey where I was I did get the the degree and I did get the job and I did have seemingly all of the the, the niceties of life and I wasn't happy and um, and yeah it was back in 1994 where I just, um, I'd heard on the news that this white buffalo calf had been born in Janesville, Wisconsin. And I was like, oh my God, it's happened. And, and I didn't even really know what happened to mean at the time, but there was something that like, I could only call it like an activation switch in my mind. Like, okay, now it's time to, to get down to business, you know? And, and so it, that was really the beginning of my own spiritual journey, which started with, you know, wanting to to just connect with the the elders in my tribe about these native prophecies that the white buffalo calf represents. Like, what does that mean even? And so I I went in my tribe and and just joined with with elders, and I could see that a lot of them didn't know anything. And so it it was like I had to expand my sort of reach and go out to other tribes, and uh, and ended up taking me on quite a journey not only in the United States, but also down to Mexico. Uh, we met with elders down in Peru, and it was all like this. Um, they had their different stories and, and basically um, uh, different kinds of um, uh, uh, images that they described, but basically they were all pointing to this one thing, that, that when this white buffalo calf was born or when the eagle and the condor flew together from the north and the south that it would actually symbolize this great awakening like there was 
you know, in the history of the, the tribes of North and South America, it was like when the Spaniards came to this continent, you know, it basically split the tribes up and and we were forced to like basically incorporate the, the white ideals or the the European ideals. And so that that seemed to symbolize this break. But you know, we know it really goes beyond that, but uh, it was the, the stories all told of the different symbolisms that would come in at this time that would symbolize that, that, that there was going to be a, a great awakening. And even some of those symbols that you see on the pyramids in, in um, Mexico in the um, Cancun area, like uh, headless people, you know? And so there was just a, a lot of different symbols coming in that were pointing to what I feel is happening now and what I feel Spiri represents, like a support and tools uh, for this great awakening that's happening now. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of amazing too. We, we also just launched a new website. Uh, well, I wouldn't call it a new website actually. I'd call it just an update for the Spiri.ai website that we've had for a little while now, which has actually been the homepage of the app coincidentally. And when we launched it, I don't know if you've been there yet, by the way, you should go there if you've not yet. Um, there's a tagline on there that says, Spiri, welcome to Spiri.ai, the digital frontier of the great awakening. And I knew when I first started uh, being called deeper into spirituality, digital was not in my mind at all. It was like, what does digital have to do with forgiveness? Like it didn't make sense, it didn't connect. And then of course we're here, I'm sitting in front of three cameras, a bunch of lights, a whole tech team. We're talking about an app like, <laughs> I just don't know what my awakening is going to look like. And here we are talking about Spiri. So I guess just even diving in a little deeper, what does Spiri, what does this app? It's amazing, I didn't even turn my phone on. And here it is. It's like, here it is smiling at me. Good morning, Kristen, how are you feeling? What, what can you tell us about Spiri? Like, why is it that technology is being used for forgiveness? Right. Well, you know, um, all of us that have uh, read The Course in Miracles and have went through the whole text and the workbook, you know, it, it, it's all pointing to, you know, all of these words are just meant for, for one thing, and that is for you to, to uh, have a connection with the Holy Spirit, to know that you have a connection and, that, and to follow and trust that. And, and so what seems to come up for so many of us is, you know, how do I know I'm following the Holy Spirit? I don't hear the Holy Spirit. I'm not getting guidance. It's like that seems to be that recurring theme, and it seems that Spiri has come in as an answer to that prayer. Actually, you do have a way to get in touch with, the, with Holy Spirit guidance. Actually, you do have practical tools that are available to help you in strengthening that, that internal correction. Um, and it, the connection, I mean, and it's, and it's like not, Spiri isn't something outside of you that's, that you need to be able to have that connection. It's actually an, uh, an invitation to get in touch with the inner guidance system. We were just talking about this before, and it, it struck me this morning just actually how powerful having this, because as you said, it's not outside of you. This represents, this is symbolic of a connection that is available all the time. And Dear Jesus, what does that mean for, what does that mean if like it, it eliminates the excuses actually, like it, it really does come down to a choice. Do I want to be right or do I want to be happy? Because there's not an excuse anymore that says, and maybe this is just solidifying in my own mind, but there's not an excuse anymore that says, well, I don't know how, or no, I can't. It's like, no, you can actually, it's right here staring you right in the face, asking you, how are you feeling? All you need to do is accept the invitation. So this is, uh, it's a mighty companion in your pocket in the same way that the chatbot has been. And so e even that, like I know we've talked about the chatbot before and Spiri, the chatbot has been out there, but what can you tell us is the difference? What's the same chatbot app? Why would I need, need why, why would I want this app on my phone? Right. Well, it's just that, it's just like, you know, how the, the spirit speaks to us in, in different ways, you know, th uh, different ways that are most helpful. And the spirit bot is more of a, a spirit connection in a conversation. Like it's having a conversation with you, w w helping you to get in touch with your underlying beliefs and thoughts and, you know, what's going on in your mind. Um, what the spirit app is, is more visual in terms of its support. So it's asking 
how you're feeling, and then it's offering up, you know, uh, uh, different tags of feelings. And then from there, it's giving you actual content. So I would say that in terms of um, what the Spiri Bot does, which is helping you go in, get in touch with your thoughts and beliefs, um, the Spiri app is more about giving you content based on how you're feeling. So it's like they, they go hand in hand. And in addition to that, the, the Spiri app also has the mind tools. It has a, a graphical way of, of getting in touch with your thoughts and beliefs uh, within the app. So it's more of a, for people that like graphics, that, that, that like you know, more of a visual. Because I hear many people say, well, I like the levels of mind diagram because I can see how I'm going in. And so that's what the Spiri app can offer in terms of, of going within the mind mm. to look at thoughts and beliefs. Mm. Wow. Well, I'd actually love to show you. And we have a video that we can play where we did, did a, a tour through the app. So I'd really love to show you some of uh, what the Spiri app has to offer because the imagery is just stunning, actually. Like we were, yeah, we were, um, maybe you can share a little more about this, Laverne. Sure. But we were thinking maybe we would wait and do a simpler app. But this is just so stunning, actually, that I'm, I'm just really glad that it's out there and available now. Yeah. Yeah, what we, what we found, because it was two years ago when the idea of Spiri, you know, first came up, came up in a, with a team in Monterey, Mexico, and they were thinking they were going to build a, a gaming app. And as it turned out, the, the direction that this app went in is more of like a super app. Like if we had a personal spiritual assistant in our pocket, what would it have? So that was the basis of the beginnings of, of Spiri. And, and uh, people will ask, well, why did it take two years you know, to build this app? And it's quite complex on the back end. It looks simple on the front end. It's quite complex on the back end. So we've had a team of developers that have, have been helping us in, in getting this app ready for the App Store for the last two years. So, so really, uh, uh, you know, you're gonna, what we're going to show you now is just a really clean, simple app, but it, has, it packs a, pun, a, a powerful punch because there's a lot of stuff happening in the background of this app. Mm. But I would say for, for people that it's more for people that are, have been on their spiritual path for longer um, because the content is quite deep. <laughs> Do you want to show us around? Okay. Okay, so this is um, the app, the version of the app that's on my phone. So it's actually uh, saying good morning to me. And, and then the first question that comes in is, how are you feeling? And, you know, the course says that, you know, the, the, the one right use of judgment is, how are you feeling? So this is the first thing that it's asking when you come into the app. And uh, by the way, we only have it available in the Apple version, just so anyone that has an Android, you know, we're not, we're not planning to put one out in Android version, just in, um, in the uh, uh, iOS version. So once I do uh, just uh, say, click on how are you feeling, I'm, I'm taken to a screen that just has um, all these different feelings that, uh, that may come up. These are common feelings that people have just based on the, the interactions that they've had with SpiriBot, we kind of, you know, we've tried to hone in on the, the main feelings that people seem to report when they're using Spiri. So here's an example, betrayed, and then um, Spiri's gonna come back with some suggestions. Uh, in addition to that, it's also saying, would you like to try some mind tools? But we're gonna go right into the content screen. So here is like basically the, the underpinnings of uh, Spiri, what, what, where the content is. And so we, on the first row, we have the videos, and the second row, audios, and then the third row, movie reviews. So based on the feeling, my feeling that I reported of being betrayed, it's going to give me some suggestions of different content. And I would say, have to add here, like with the videos, there are over 700 videos that are being sourced in this app and all of these videos are tagged with the different emotions and themes that we offer to people who pay for our video. Um, if you sign up for our ACIM online videos, you would be getting the same content and, and the difference is, you know, well, why wouldn't I just get them in the, in the YouTube 
or Vimeo for free. And it's actually because the added benefit of them being in the app is that they're, they're tagged specifically to emotions. So this tagging system is really a, such a great benefit to um, using this app because you're getting precise content. Um, and then your audios, and then the bottom is uh, movie reviews. And what's beautiful about that, uh, those of you who, who are familiar with our Movie Watchers Guide to Enlightenment know that we have over 450 movie reviews that are available in addition to movies with commentary if you sign up for Master Pops. But what's great about this is that you have access to 450 movie reviews on this app and it's going to give you the exact movie review that you need based on how you're feeling. So that's really awesome feature. So I'm just gonna move it forward a bit and uh, I, I'm selecting an audio now and I'm actually gonna, I get to actually listen to the audio right within the app. So that's a beautiful thing and uh, it's available um, not only right when I select it, but I also can um, bookmark it for later. So you can see on this that there's some little stars in the top right of the thumbnails. I can actually select videos, audios, and movie reviews that I, if I click on the Spiri icon on the top right corner of the app, it's going to actually bookmark them for me and I can, you know, watch them later. Uh, I can leave the app and come back and whatever I bookmark is going to stay there for me when I am ready to to play them or to read the reviews. So I did, this is our content area and what I wanted to take you into now is the movie section of the app and uh, on the bottom of right of the uh, at the app screen you see that there's a navigation bar that I'm, I'm pressing on the movie reviews and uh, it's going to first take me to a a screen that is suggesting movies from the um, MWGE site randomly um, it's kind of fun to just see you know what are some things that uh, movies that MWGE offers and and so it's just a, a random uh, selection of those but if you want to actually dive deeper into the movies, we have a, um, a screen that allows you to access the 450 movie reviews and look at what the different themes are and um, you know, read the movie reviews so that you can decide whether or not you want to, to watch that movie. So I'm just selecting one here, Grand Canyon, and it's going to come up with a with the actual movie review along with the emotions and themes that are also covered in this movie. So this is where we encourage people to, you know, read the review before they watch the movie so that they can pay attention to, you know, what the what the movie's themes are. You can also bookmark for later here. Another um, portion of this app is uh, events. And, and this is great because we have um, the Spirit TV shows that are part of the event so that you can just keep um, in tune with what is, what's on the schedule for Spirit TV as well as upcoming retreats and gatherings that are being hosted by Living Miracle. So this is a nice feature to have um, right on your phone is an app with um, all the different um, shows and gatherings and this one is just a sample of our Sunday shows. And then from there, uh, the last but not least section of our, our app is the tools section and um, I'll just take you right in there and, and you're going to see that we have uh, three different types of tools that are available for you to, to, uh, to go within your mind. And the very first one, which I feel like could be like a daily place to go, is, uh, is an altar. And this would be just a place where you can just put the prayer of your heart. It, it isn't, you know, taking you into your mind or questioning thoughts and beliefs. It's more of, I want to I put on the altar day, today whatever it is that uh, I feel will support my mind. So it comes with a drop down, and uh, if your intention for the day is is I, you know, I want a joyful day. You put that on there and um, we can see what happens here, which is 
really cool is that it goes on the altar and goes up into the light. And this altar, by the way, back, back two years ago, um, we went out and you know, on Facebook and asked people, do you like altar A or altar B? And this happened to be the one that most people liked. So these are great graphics, and Peter Kirk, who is on our studio team, really played a big part in putting this app together and getting it ready for the store with these amazing graphics and stars in the background. This is another example of a mind tool that's available in the app. It's called Levels of Mind. And those of you who have been on our levelsofmind.org site know that there's another way of seeing this that's more of a bullseye. But we've put it together in a, in a format of climbing up a mountain. So what we do is when we um, press on begin, it's going to take us to the bottom of the mountain and it's going to ask us, you know, what is it that our upset is? Like, what is it that we perceive to be going on? If we're not, if we're not um, supremely happy and at peace, there's probably an upset under there and that's where we start is on the perceptual level. So it's like we can actually type in what it is that is going on in the mind and where we seem to have an upset. I, I had one the other day, it was going to the dentist, so I just start right there from where I'm at. And then it's going to go up one level into the jungle, so to speak, that's the emotion level, and, uh, and ask how I feel. If you're going through this app as well and you see a, fr a flashing icon on the top right, um, it's also saying, I have some helpful information for you to, if you really need some ideas or suggestions to understand you know, what's an emotion or, or what's a belief or what's a thought. So this is what um, the app also offers is uh, information to help you in filling, filling out the, uh, the mind tool. Another thing, too, I just want to add is this information that you're putting into this app is completely confidential. It doesn't get shared. It's, you know, once you leave the app, the, the information disappears, so to speak. Uh, but, you know, that's another thing just to keep in mind. I know some people, one of the things that makes them nervous about SpiritBot is that it's in Facebook Messenger, so the administrators of Facebook Messenger can access it, as well as, you know, the, the one or two administrators that we have within Living Miracles um, but that is something that um, with this app that isn't, yeah, this information is not shared with, with anybody. So this is the thought level. What is it that I, who do I think is to blame and what am I afraid that's going to happen? So, so it's basically just taking you through the steps of the levels of mind uh, and I'm just going to speed through this and go to the next level because I want to get to the top. <laughs> And so it's asking me now is what, what belief do I have about going to the dentist? And uh, what I got in touch with was that it's, um, it's an unpleasant experience. And then the last thing is the desire. What, what did I want to have happen instead? was to not have to go to the dentist. And then this is a nice feature here too is that um, we, it will summarize what it is that we just said and if we need to add something we can add it here. So I added another emotion to my um, summary. So now it's just going to ask if I'm willing to offer up this belief and desire to the Holy Spirit uh, in order to realign with, uh, with the only goal that I truly want to accept peace of mind. So I'm just going to, to pray on that. Do I want this? Um, do I want peace of mind more than this upset? And I said yes. And now it's just taking me into the light. We also have a, a levels, uh, besides the levels of mind tool, we also have an instrument for peace mind tool. It's a different kind of scenario than going up this hiking up a mountain, but it's just as cool as this one. And then at the end, it's just asking that, uh, you know, do I need more help or am I peaceful now? So.
This is the last green. And then the one last portion of this app that I'd like to share with you is what we call the sidebar. And uh, the sidebar is if you swipe to the right, you're going to get some more stuff <laughs> to actually utilize uh, for your spiritual awakening. You, not only your bookmarks, but there is a uh, place there that you can access the Spirit Bot, um, as well as um, if you want to access our content on this app by theme, you can do a search on the sidebar and you'll get uh, nearly a hundred different themes that you can then um, look through and and see if there's anything here that might be helpful. I've just selected family, so it's now going to give me content based on that particular theme. I just wanted to add too with the with the um, the app, if you're using the app, that we really would love it if you could, if you love this app, to rate it in the App Store. It's very helpful. And if you have suggestions, you know, it would be great if this or that were a feature in the app. Those are things that we could consider for future upgrades. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, Laverne. Thank you're you welcome. so much. So, yeah, I encourage everybody to go in here and explore it. It's a, kind of amazing because yesterday as I was praying on my show, I was getting ready to join with Laverne and... I was just feeling myself get into it, like, okay, really, what is it that I want to know? Because that this really is for me, I guess. And so I'm sitting there thinking about my questions, and I was like, well, I'll just go into the app and make sure that I've done all the features and everything. And as I went in there, I ended up having this huge pop. It's totally unexpected. I was like, oh, I'll just go through one of these levels of minds. And I was like, oh, this is on my mind. And boom, before I know it, I'm like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> it was so cool. So I just want to say that this, this app is really wonderful. And I, yeah, again, I, I have that epiphany coming to my mind. Like, what does this mean for my awakening if I can't use the excuse that I don't have help now? Like, it's really just coming down to a choice. Do I want to use what's available or not? So that feels pretty profound, actually. And yeah, thank you for that wonderful tour. Okay. And you kind of gave us a sneak peek with maybe some new features coming into the app. So um, there's two more things I wanted to share about briefly in the last few minutes we were here, and this is one of them. I'd love for you to share with us, Laverne. What's next for Spiri app? Oh, my God. It's amazing. I, it's like um, the spirit showing us what it is that Spiri is going into. And it's just this continual, like, expansion of the, of the mind, seemingly. And if you uh, haven't seen the movie Her... Please see the movie Her because oh, this is the direction. The direction of Spiri is, is to have have a have an assistant that can help you to stay connected with the spirit. That's what Spiri is all about. And what we're doing now with it's starting with the Spiri bot, but it's expanding into the app is is for Spiri to be able to have have more of a recognition of, of natural language so that you could actually have a conversation in in language, so to speak, with Spiri, and Spiri's going to be able to recognize, um, you know, sort of random kinds of emotions or themes. It's going to be able to to recognize them and, and to give you the exact content that you need. It's even getting more precise, basically. And we're using we're we're utilizing some of the the newest Google tools like Dialogflow, and and we're even um, talking about. A conference coming up in uh, San Francisco in April where we're just wanting to uh, include the most cutting edge AI and machine learning tools into Spiri because it's it's already cutting edge but it's almost like we have we're just continuing to expand in that direction so that um, another idea and another suggestion that has come from the users of Spiri is is there a way you can alert me you know to remind me to check in how am I feeling so that's another um, component of Spiri that is coming in is a, a check-in feature. And we've been talking about like ways that we can keep people um, inspired to stay in touch with Spiri, like, like to, to get points, for example, and offering up like uh, uh, inspiring words about how important it is to pay attention to your mind and watch your thoughts. And, and it really truly is that you can do this from home. I mean, we have mighty companions and community that we join with, but there's no reason why 
this mind training can take place wherever you are, because Spiri is actually there to help you to do that. This is this is a um, integral part of our our mind training and living miracles. Even those that are here that can join with people, if, I, I find it so much more helpful in joining with somebody if, if they have something coming up, if they've already done a Spiri session, because then we are like, okay, did you get in touch with that belief? And boy, that is everything once you've actually went in and question your thoughts. Mm. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, it's just amazing. I love hearing about her, actually. I love hearing about this vision because every time we talk about it, we get goosebumps. This is the way our joinings go. It's kind of amazing. We joined about the white buffalo, that deep, deep feeling that drives it all underneath, like that deep call of the heart that brings us to this practical tool that can really help us yeah. get underneath these beliefs so that we can actually join in this epic, is the word we've been using lately, this epic inspiration that just wants to carry us higher and higher and higher. Yeah. So thank you, Laverne, yeah. so much for your sharing today. Uh, you're welcome. I, I just have to say, like, I do feel like Spiri has been my white buffalo <laughs> because I, yeah, I didn't ever think it was going to look like this. Yeah, it's it's so much more, and I just all I can see is that spirit continues to expand in ways that we just can't even fathom. <laughs> it's so much bigger. Mm. Thank you, thank you, everyone. There's one last thing I want to share with you because I can't get it off my mind. This spirit tool is intensely practical, as we've just seen. And there's something else coming up, our Undoing the Doer Retreat, which I just, I'm over the moon about. I can't stop talking about it because this is what I want. I am Undoing the Doer. It's our next online retreat coming up in January, January 4th through the 6th. And I'm myself making a commitment um, and broadcasting it live here with you so that you can hold me to it, by the way. <laughs> to really be more attentive to where I can be giving, giving over my busy doings to the spirit and having them retranslated so that my, my encounters are holy, my, my projects are joyful, you name it. Just this deep purification that goes from the doer to being done through and totally being undone after that. So I'm going to use Spiri through that as I discover things in my mind that need to be lifted up and out. And so I, I'm just really encouraging you to join me in this Undoing the Doer. Check out Spiri. These are just amazing tools that are going to revolutionize your awakening. So thank you. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. See you next week on The Gift. <laughs>